What you bitch boy tonight? I'm coming to y'all with Stress by King Husky. You feel me? And y'all ain't know how I feel about Husky, so I'm not gonna do too much talking about it, but just know he a real one. I rock with you the long way. Make sure y'all definitely um like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all press that post notification bell, post notification. Make sure I don't put these down here for no reason, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all um if y'all want to, y'all can add my Snapchat. That's also gonna be in the description. Um, make sure y'all keep requesting more and more music for me to react to you feel me without further ado finna jump straight into this video y'all know i've been rocking i've been rocking my husky since october last year when i first did that reaction to intro and that song was incredible no cap that's still probably my favorite husky song to this day but without further ado we can jump to this track so i have the logo i'm gonna let it dry that is like like a glass of oat milk He said, people ain't seeing my grind. People, people don't notice the demons that be in my mind. That's real shit, bro. That's real shit. I ain't gonna pause it too much, but that's some real shit, though. He said, people ain't seeing my grind. People don't notice the demons they, that be in my mind. He said, they be seeing the grind, and they be seeing him coming up, but they don't know that he be fighting shit on the low. It's like that one TikTok that just, that just uh, I don't know if it just started going viral whenever they said, like, um... Uh, like it's a male like i ain't gonna lie it's kind of it look i mean it's not corny but like because it's real shit like it's like it got something to do with males like we screaming on the inside but on the outside we like you know we smiling we good we like hey how you doing but low-key we fighting demons you feel me so basically that's what he was saying though he was saying like see i see in the ground but i ain't seeing the demons that be in my mind you know what i'm saying so like it's like damn that, that fame and that success and that come don't really be meaning nothing because you know you still ain't happy so it's like, and when people, and, and, it, and this is another thing before I click on the video, um, another thing when they say money don't buy happiness, like I feel like it, it can't buy happiness, of course not, it can't, it can make you happy, but it can't buy, you know, it can make you happy for the moment, but as time go on, if you fighting demons that you ain't beat, like say, say I get, okay, what's 20, it's 2022, say I get rich in 2023, 2024, or 2025, or even so on and so forth, and I got all this money, right? I got all this money and I'm buying things I want and it's making me happy, but I still got demons from 2018, 2019, 2020, or e even in the past or 2021 that I still ain't beat yet. So I ain't beat them demons yet, which means I ain't come to terms with them, which means I can't grow as a person. I ain't never really worked on myself. All I do is just grind harder than I was and got rich, but I ain't never beat them demons. You ain't never gonna get happy until you beat your demons. I'm going to say that one more time. You ain't never going to be happy until you beat your demons. No matter how much money come to you. That's why all these millionaires and billionaires be depressed still. Because they probably still be having demons and stuff that they ain't beat from back in the day. Take time out. Like, if you if you grinding, take time off for your mental. Like, that's very important. If you need to focus on your mental, if you got real supporters, real subscribers, they going to understand to you. They going to understand and be like, hey, he just taking time off to work on his mental. Because if I was still grinding and I was still messed up like I was in the past... I'd be cool with where I'm at right now. I'm like, boy, yeah, I made the 1.6K subs. I wouldn't be happy inside because I still got demons I'm fighting. You feel me? Bro, it's, this Husky music be deep, bro. You know what I mean? People don't notice the demons that be in my mind Pour up with three in my sprut Seem to be fine, man, I swear I just need to be high I'm a fiend and it eats me alive I've been keeping inside, I'm alone like a thief in the night Yes, I'm alone like a thief in the night <laughs> That was a good analogy Then he said, I pour up with three in my sprite I seem to be fine, but I just need to be high That just take it back to what I said, bro People don't be knowing what you're going through They pouring all this shit up and they Like, you know, I used to like, y'all yeah, know me, bro I used to drink lean and that used to make me feel so good. And I used to fight the demons for the moment. But it ain't beat them. It just it really made them worse. Because now they're telling me, like, oh, you better get high today. You need to get high to beat us. 
that's 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 some deep shit like they telling you like if you smoking weed and you drinking lean just to fight the demons away get them away from the moment that's they gonna be like that's cool we gonna leave for the moment we coming back though because you ain't beat us People don't notice the demons to be in my mind Four up with three in my spot Seem to be fine, man, I swear I just need to be high I'm a fiend and it eats me alive I've been keeping inside, I'm alone like a thief in the night Used to have to rack feeds for my wife Now we only eat greens when the season is right Sipping lean every night with the team by my side Had a baby, it gave me a mean in the life First thing that I wrote was a suicide note Now the streets like you beast on the mark, man he said the, he said the first thing I wrote was a suicide note Now the streets know that I'm a beast on the mic Oh my god then he said I had a baby and he said I got a baby and now I, he said I had a baby and now I got a new meaning of life. The first thing I wrote was a suicide note. Now the streets know I'm a beast with the mic. Um, ain't even much I can say about that. All I can do is say run that back. <laughs> Walk now we only eat greens when the season is right. Sipping lean every knock of the team by my side. Had a baby, it gave me a mean in the law. First thing that I wrote was a suicide note. Now the streets like you beast on the mark. Man, the reason I ride is it keeps me alive. I ain't never said shit for the people to lock. 18 was a fiend for the pot. Popping Zans, they were charged for the features I ride. Plus, I need to. Run it back, run it back. I know that a street that you beast on the mark, man. The reason I write is it keeps me alive. I ain't never said shit for the people to like. He said the only reason I write is to keep me alive. I ain't never said shit for the people to like. <laughs> it's slow as oh my god. I'm about to come up. I'm about to come out the shirt, bro. This nigga snapping. 18 was a fiend for the pot popping Zans. Now I charge for the features I write. Plus, I need to remind a few peeps. They OGs for Q's and the P's. I don't mind. They think they OGs, but they like every week. They don't know we can see. So they type all these sheep with the keys to my ride. Try to jump in my lane for the day just to see what it's like. I've been wavy off G's that I like. Never gave no fucks. I've been sleeping all right. I've been down for my fan. I never gave no fuck. I've been sleeping all right. <laughs> he just, he just, it's bar. It's bar after bar. After bar, after bar with this man. Bar after bar after bar with this man. He just don't stop. Like he's just like, oh my god, bro. This, he's amazing. He's amazing. Man, don't care about nothing. People think I'm the man. Shit, I ain't changed. Where were you fuckers when I needed you? Now they all scream, we believe in you. Claim to be. He said, where was you when I needed you? Now they scream, we believe in you. That's how it go, bro. I'm running back, by the way. But that's how it go. They're not in your corner right now. They're not sharing your shit now. They're not supporting you now. But wait till you get big. They're going to be on your dick. They're going to be on your line. They're going to be on your ass. Hey, bro, remember when such and such? Did? Yeah, I remember that. But I don't remember when you shared my post for me, though. I don't remember when I had to come in the group chat and had to tell you, hey, bro, y'all going to share my new video for me. And nobody did it. I remember that. Just like I remember what you talking about. This should be crazy, bro. This should be old. And then when the random people, then when the then when the bitches come around, they gonna be like, hey, remember me in high school? I'm sorry I turned you down that one day. Um, I just had stuff going on. And now I got things going on. I'm getting money now. I'm up. I don't want you no more. I wanted you in high school. That's high school. Them old females from high school try to get on your line. First of all, like I never, I never understood why they did that. Like why they brought up that old shit. Like that's high school. I was a kid. Half of these females you went to high school with probably not even that attractive no more. They probably got a baby and some old shit. By the same niggas they were chasing in high school, but they wouldn't chase you though. But then when you start chasing your bag and getting on your mission, now they want to come around. Now it's your turn to turn them down, and you better turn them down too, or you let me down. And if you let me down. I'm gonna be disappointed in you. When you come up, because I know you're gonna come up. Look at me, I'm talking to you. When you come up, let me look in the camera. When you come up, and them bitches try to come around, and them old dudes who was hating on you try to come around, if you let them in, I'm gonna be disappointed with you. No cap. I'm gonna be very disappointed. Don't care about nothing. People think I'm the man. Shit, I ain't changed. Where were you fuckers when I needed you? Now they'll scream, we believe in you. Claim to be mates, they deceiving you. Now they'll fake to your face when they meet you. I don't need them. These snakes trying to stitch to my PO. You feel she taking my freedom. Now I got real ones paying for meals and shit. Cause I'm locked up, I can't even feed them. Over this life, I ain't talking about suicide. Now, man, I'm thinking up ways to succeed it. How I've been bleeding over all these tracks. And I swear that it feels like nobody can see them. Stressing these nervous twitches. They can turn. He said, I've been bleeding all over these tracks. And it feel like nobody can see them. 
that's a that's a good that's a good um what's the word i'm looking for it wasn't a metaphor it wasn't a, no it wasn't none of that he said i'm bleeding all over these tracks and i'm it's crazy i don't think nobody can see i don't think nobody can see him basically what he's saying is he putting his heart soul blood sweat and tears into these tracks and it's like nobody can see him it's going right through them they don't even notice that he's doing it but me i noticed i noticed that the first couple bars in that he was going to put his heart in this, into this track. The song stress in itself. If a nigga make a song called stress and he going on here talking about fucking bitches and how he used to be stressing shit, that ain't going to make no sense. When, when you make a song like this, when you make a... See, that, that's why I respect Husky so much because not only do he rap what he about, he rap about mental health issues. Don't nobody rap about that shit no more. It's all about partying, popping weed. I said popping weed, popping pills, smoking weed, fucking bitches and going to parties and going to clubs and shit. Don't nobody talk about the real shit no more. You know why? Because it's not marketable. But the only, but the thing is, and I'm gonna tell you something. With these, I'm gonna put down some real game right here. If you an independent artist, these labels, they gonna be out here paying people to fuck with you. They gonna be out here paying for you. The only thing a label you need a label you really could use a label for is if you don't if, for marketing. A quick dollar, and if you if you want a little buzz, that's the only thing you really really need a label for. But if you get all three of those things on your own independently, do you know how much your worth to be? Like if a label want to sign you, like, oh, we found you out the trenches. Let's sign you for a million, 1.5 million right now. If you're not being thirsty, like, you know what? I know my worth. I'm not worth 1.5 million. My fan base is, your your fan base can be more die, die hard than, than, the late, than the fan base the label gave this nigga. That's real, that's real shit. Like that's real, bro. I'm trying to tell you, this is real. I don't just be talking, bro. This is real shit. And your diehard fan base can grow into be even diehard fan base. And now they buy now you just sold 60, 70k without a label independently. And guess how much that label gonna want to sign you for? Five, ten M's right off the bat. Cause they know you're gonna make that back. They know you're gonna make that money back. Come on, man. I don't just be talking, bro. That's real nigga shit. We're gonna run that back though. But that's real shit, bro. I'm really hoping y'all take that to the head. If you rapping, if you're doing anything, bro, focus on, on yourself independently first. And then when you get the chance to network and you know your worth then go you know what i'm saying then proceed you feel me just keep working and keep doing you and be original do not be like nobody else because that's not gonna get you far i can't even feed him over this life i ain't talking about suicide now man i'm thinking up ways of succeeding how i've been bleeding over all these tracks and i swear that it feels like nobody can see them stressing these nervous twitches lately turning vicious i keep popping valley in the tree to i've been losing friends and bitches burning bridges but it feels like i don't even need him I fuck he said i've been losing friends and bitches burning bridges but it feel like i don't even need them we ain't gonna speak too much on that. That bar speak for itself. Fought with addiction, I thought that I beat it. Still fought with my bitch when I do it, get heated. Swear that we keep going on with this shit. Keep popping valley in the tree. I've been losing friends and bitches, burning bridges, but it feels like I don't even need them. I fought with addiction, I thought that I beat it. Still fought with my bitch when I do it, get heated. Swear that we keep going on with this shit. What you wanna leave me for some text I deleted? Ah, too. He said, You wanna leave me for some text I deleted? <laughs> yeah. Too much shit, I gotta try and grapple Mixing syrup with this pineapple fan It got me feeling like I'm flying I ain't coming down until I won all my battles Ain't too <coughs> The man said The man said I'm pouring this inside this This uh, pineapple fan a double liter It got me so high and I ain't coming down until I beat, until I win my battle or something. I ain't running back. That boy. Wanna leave me for some text I deleted? Ah, too much shit. I gotta try and grapple. Mixing syrup with this pineapple fan. It got me feeling like I'm flying. I ain't coming down until I won all my battles. He said, this got me feeling like I'm flying. I ain't coming down until I won all my battles. That's the only thing, though. You're not fighting them sober. You're fighting them with the lean. And that's not no shot. That's not, that's not no shot. That's not, that's not no shot. That's not, that's not that's the thing you're fight you're not fighting them sober that's the only thing about fighting these demons and you hide you're not fighting them sober you're not in the right state of mind you ain't making the right choice like you making the right choices when you hide because i mean you're not making the right choices because you're not sober you're not thinking about things the right way you like oh i'm happy yeah i seen me high on the channel before i'll be all happy and geeked and all this other stuff and then when i'm sober i'll be chill i break down the bars better but when i'm high i can't break down the bars for real bars go over my head you feel what i'm saying so it's like when you, like I said earlier, bro, when you when you high and you fighting demons like that, you're not going to win in the end, bro. That's why people be so depressed for so long, because they be trying to fight these demons with drugs and it don't work. You feel me? At some point, you got to put them drugs down and go on a tolerance break and beat them demons up on your own. You got to, you got to, 
you gotta fight them demons on your own. You gotta beat their ass on your own. They gonna try to jump you, but you gotta beat them on your own, bro. You can't take drugs to beat them. But this is old Husky, though. This is 2017 Husky. You know, we already know about new Husky. I don't believe he fighting demons on... I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know if he beat him or not. I hope he did. I'm praying he did. But this is old Husky. So old Husky had to, just like with old me last year, I had to fight. I fought, I was fighting demons with weed and it wasn't working. He was fighting demons with lean and nine times, and 50 50, maybe it wasn't working. It don't. I don't know if it was working or not. But 50 50, maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. But bro, more of the story is if you're depressed or if you're going through something, go to a therapist, talk to somebody you trust. Or try to fight them on your own and just go on a self-improvement journey. Try to fight them on your own. It's going to take time. It's not going to be overnight. But it's going to be worth it in the end. I believe in you. Ain't too many I've been fucking with. Syrup gang or you can suck a dick. I've been getting faded for the fuck of it. I ride a track and now they say they loving it. I'm on some other shit. Laziest rapper alive. I do this shit for my mind. I ain't slaving or snapping my spine for the locks. I've been trying to take in my time. People trying to pressure me to push an album on them like it's my day job. I've been riding trying to keep myself from snapping. I don't care if I get paid off. That man went crazy, went crazy. Man, Husky, he just showed me every time that he just, he, he, he a goat, bro. Like I said, bro, it's 1-4, Lissy, Husky, Hooligan Hefts. Who was the last one? Wom no, I wasn't Wombat. Wombat, Wombat number six. Chilling it, number five. No, chilling it, like, number seven. Who number five? I forgot who number five is. I, I can't even really. I even got a top five. I listen to every day, and I can't remember the top five. But that's my top four, though. Y'all know what I'm saying. But when I think of a five, I'll let y'all know. But Husky is definitely top three on that list. No cap. No cap. But look though, man. Y'all know I rock with Husky, man. Husky, if you see this video, man, keep going, my boy. Keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying. We need an album. If you ain't drop one already, go ahead and drop the album. You know what I'm saying. You can send that to my DMs. I'll react to it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, shout out Husky, man. Shout out the whole 420 fam. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out Australia as a as a as a country and as a uh, 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 and as a uh, place of music in general. Y'all very slept on. I love reacting to y'all music. It's different to me. I'm glad I picked up this wave and start reacting to it. I love how y'all rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be showing me love and showing me support, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all smash that uh, post notification bell for post notifications. Make sure y'all definitely stand strong mentally, physically, and spiritually and chasing your dreams of hard work, dedication, and prayer. And definitely follow these for me, please. I'm tired of being the only 300 something uh, subscribers. Please, at least give me to 1,000. At least give me at least give me to 1,000, please. I don't like being at 300. That made me feel like, I don't know. Like, I'm not no internet nigga, but I just be like, man, I don't like seeing that 300, man. Because I used to be at like 6K on my old one, but that one got deleted. So then I made the Taste Your Nice one when I started YouTube back in 2019. But more of the story is, make sure y'all follow me on my socials, man. I really appreciate that if y'all did that for me. With that being said, Taste Your Nice out.